out of YouTube, so I went to my first coin show today. I actually got the day off work to do it, and it was pretty much what I expected it would be. Um, a lot of coin collectors there, as it is a coin show, and not so many uh, bullion people, um, aside from your, your silver eagles and stuff like that. But I noticed something there, and it was that every bullion piece, like a... Uh, you know, a silver eagle, or even a panda, or like uh, Canadian maples that are like reverse proof or whatever. Uh, we're all crazy expensive. Those guys don't understand really how to price bullion. Why would I go buy bullion at a coin show or whatever uh, if I'm going to be paying $2 extra premium on literally everything. So I ended up not getting bullion, and as you can tell, you you can already see what I ended up getting and uh, I'll tell you how I got this and I'll show you how cool it is this is a, uh, a hunker we got a 50 troy ounce bar and so the reason I got this was because the premium on it was only a dollar over spot per ounce um, so that's pretty awesome and I I traded 40 generic rounds for it uh, which they gave me spot for and then I paid the difference. So since I've spent a dollar over spot for the generic rounds to begin with, aside from the Sunshine Mint ones that I bought at spot, um, you can say I got charged an extra $10 plus the $50 over spot. So all in all, I spent $60 over spot for this bar, if you count that in the trade, uh, which is really quite a good deal in my opinion um basically i the the people that make these bars melt down generic silver so it doesn't make sense that they would give me any of my premiums back for it but i did want to leave with something and i wasn't about to go crazy on bullion prices at a coin show so this is what i ended up with and i'm pretty happy with it Look at the pour lines on this bad boy. This is from a company called Bison Bullion, and they're based out of Nebraska. So they drove quite a ways to get to me. And I think that is, um, I think that's why I got a good deal on it. So the people working at the booth clearly brought these down with them, and they only brought one of each size. They had a 7 ounce, a 5 ounce, a 7 ounce, a 10 ounce a 15, a 20, a 30, a 40, and a 50 ounce. And then they had one 100 ounce. And I was able to talk them down on their price to only a dollar over spot because clearly they hadn't sold any yet because I saw every bar that they had. And, um, and who wants to drive back to Nebraska with all of these in your car and pack them up and not make a deal? So yeah, pretty stoked on the price I got with that. If you do the math, it means that I, yeah, I spent 60 over spot for this whole bar, which isn't bad at all, um, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys maybe would disagree, but that's a dollar twenty over spot for a poured bar. It's pretty cool. And out of my pocket, I spent like nothing, you know, like uh, because I did a trade. And so I'm always going to advocate for trades as long as you keep in mind what your premiums were and what your premiums are and that you're not double paying premiums, you know, because that's when trades go sour. Um, but yeah, anyway, this video is kind of just to share my experience with my first coin show, show you what my uh, loot is that I got from there. And I guess I'll show you. This thing is like a giant loaf of bread, except it's better than bread. It's a lot heavier than bread too, holy cow. And uh, if I were to ever pour, I would be interested in pouring stuff like this. Um, I've watched a lot of you pourers out there and I've seen that you guys take pride in your pour lines and I can see why, they're absolutely stunning. And I don't know how hard it would be to make one like this, but I can't imagine it was easy. You know, they had to be a little bit experienced. And then this cool little bison on there with the 50 troy ounces, um, kind of icing on the cake, you know. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not much of a bar guy, but this is definitely cool, and I, I do like to, to hold it, you know. So, anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for New Ounce Saturday. I'll see you again on Sunday for Silver History Sunday. 
and then I'll be in Mexico for the rest of the week so I probably won't hear much from me next week but I appreciate you guys watching appreciate the continued support and hopefully you guys are having a great Friday and uh, I will talk to you guys soon